We have had many, many lightsaber duels throughout all of Star Wars, including some pretty bad ones. So in this video, I'm going to find the top 10 worst lightsaber duels in the entire Star Wars saga. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off at number 10, we have Finn versus that random stormtrooper from back in Episode 7, The Force Awakens. The main problem with this duel is how forced it felt. I mean, Finn has just found the lightsaber, what, 20 seconds ago, and he didn't even really want to take it in the first place. But then right as he picks up that lightsaber, he just happens to find the one stormtrooper in the entire First Order who carries one of these electro thingies, just so that that Finn has a chance to actually use the lightsaber in a duel. All of that aside, the actual fight itself is pretty underwhelming too. I mean, I think when we all saw it in theaters for the first time, we were kind of in shock because it was the first time in the movie that we'd seen a lightsaber. But if you take a look at the fight, you realize that it's not very impressive whatsoever. I mean, the whole thing lasts maybe 20 seconds, and it only ends because Han Solo intervenes and shoots the stormtrooper right in the old chest cavity. Now that's what I call an explosive reaction. <laughs> Mom, do we have any cyanide? The stakes of the fight are also significantly lower once you realize that it's going to be way harder for the stormtrooper to kill Finn than it would be for Finn to kill the Stormtrooper. I mean, Finn literally just tanks this hit right here like it's a push. And look, I know that this fight is meant to just be a low stakes confrontation and a chance for Finn to use the lightsaber, but compared to a lot of the duels in Star Wars, it's just not that good. Up next at number nine is a classic, and that is Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader, the original one from A New Hope. This duel is a literal relic, and for the 1970s, it was probably groundbreaking, but unfortunately, it has not aged too well. If you were to go off of this fight alone, you'd probably assume that Obi-Wan Kenobi is a slow, untalented old man who thought that doing a random 360 Spin in the middle of a fight for his life was a smart idea, and you'd most likely think that Darth Vader was a clunky robot kind of guy who could move at the speed of a toaster maybe on a good day. What I don't like about this duel is that it's a terrible representation of the skill that these characters actually had. And if you go on YouTube right now and look it up, some random channel remade this duel the way that it should have happened, and it's insanely epic, so you should go check that out after you finish this video. However, credit where credit is due, these lightsaber effects are crazy good for the 1970s, and whoever figured out how to do this technology deserves a gold medal. No, a trophy, because these actually do look like real laser swords. At number 8 is Mace Windu versus Darth Sidious from Revenge of the Sith. And oh, by the way, as we progress through this list, the worst the lightsaber duels become, with the absolute worst lightsaber duel in all of Star Wars coming in at the number 1 spot at the end of this video, so stick around until then. The Senate duel is the only lightsaber fight that Mace Windu ever has in all of Star Wars, and it makes me a little sad that it wasn't very impressive, because we all know how much of a boss Mace Windu really is. Now, don't get me wrong, this duel isn't awful, and there are some cool parts, like when Sidious starts doing all these crazy acrobatics, and this frame right here goes really hard, so feel free to screenshot. But one of the most annoying things about this duel is how quick all these Jedi got killed off. I mean, there are legendary Jedi Masters, and the only one that lasted more than 10 seconds is Kit Fisto. A lot of Star Wars fans that I've met always rush to give an explanation for how Sidious killed them off so fast, but in my opinion, I think that it was just lazy writing, and there's no reason whatsoever that I can think of for these Jedi getting killed off instantly. On top of that, the choreography of this duel is alright, but compared to some of the other duels in Revenge of the Sith, it simply doesn't live up. And finally, this is by far the least impressive that Sidious has ever been in a fight and both his duel with Yoda and his battle with Darth Maul and Savage Opress in the Clone Wars were way cooler. Again, this duel is not bad whatsoever, but it's also not that great. So for now, I'm going to have to leave it here at the number 8 spot. For number 7, we have Rey versus Kylo Ren, the first one. Believe me, the second one is coming up later on in this video, and oh, what a train wreck. And, well, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. However, I gotta admit, this duel right here is one of the better ones in the entire sequel trilogy, which is a low bar, to be fair, but hey, at that point, you just gotta take any win that you can get. Sure, there's that constant nagging feeling throughout the entire entire fight that there's no way Rey should be able to be doing this well after her literal first time picking up a lightsaber. But if you can push that aside for the moment and just focus on the duel, it's not that bad. The scenery is pretty cool, set in some dark snowy woods at night, and the choreography is actually pretty decent. So all of that kind of comes together and leaves this fight as the 7th worst duel in all of Star Wars. Alright, at just about the middle of the list, at number 6 is Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Count Dooku in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. And oh yeah, I almost forgot. Hello there everybody, my name is Jedward and if you're enjoying this video so far, then why not subscribe. It would really help me out. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Now, placing this duel as the sixth worst duel in all of Star Wars may surprise you, because if you've been around this channel before, then you know that your boy's a sucker for Count Dooku. I mean, how could I not be, to be honest? Just look at the guy. But the reason that this fight isn't that good is because it's not supposed to be. The entire purpose of this duel is to show Anakin and Obi-Wan getting clapped by Dooku, and believe me, that's exactly how it ends up going down. Dooku smokes Anakin in the first two seconds, and then calmly and quickly destroys Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then he annihilates Anakin again, this time taking off his arm. This duel is kind of weak on purpose because it's meant to be a precursor to the real show, which is when Yoda gets there. But the fact remains that despite the good choreography, it was pretty underwhelming. Up next at number 5, we have the first duel between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Disney Plus show Kenobi. I'm not talking about the season finale, that one is pretty alright, but the first one, when these two characters meet again for the first time in years, is quite frankly not that good in my opinion. To start off, Obi-Wan gets completely destroyed, and it makes no sense that he would be this bad with the lightsaber, even despite a 10 year break. As for the lighting of this scene, it actually physically makes me 
mad. For some reason, the makers of this show just love to film all their fight scenes in badly lit, dark, open lots, and then have the characters run around swinging at each other in wide open spaces. I mean, if you look at something like the first Ray vs. Kylo Ren duel, it really does the setting well, with big trees, rocky canyons, and literal chasms opening in the ground as they fight. It's really neat to look at. On top of that, the choreography in the Vader vs. Kenobi scene isn't particularly good, mostly wild swings and desperate blocks. Look, I understand that in the context of this scene, with Obi-Wan going up against Vader for the first time, he's supposed to be weaker and more desperate, but I just fundamentally don't believe that a lifetime of training would simply disappear in a moment like this, and in my opinion, this scene was one of the worst duels in Star Wars. Coming up at number 4, we're not done yet, it's Kylo Ren vs. Finn. I did split this fight up into two separate duels, one with Rey and one with Finn, and it's safe to say that the fight with Finn is far worse. My biggest qualm with it is that there's no way that Finn could ever have been this good with a lightsaber. At least Rey has some training with a bow staff, and she's been using that for a lot of her life, which may transfer over in some way to a lightsaber, but Finn is a janitor, and the closest thing to a sword that he's ever held is a broomstick. This duel also has some abysmal choreography, and most of it is just Finn jumping back in fear while Kylo Ren does some weird spins. To its credit though, this fight does implement Kylo Ren's cross guard on his lightsaber, which is cool to see happen, and there is some emotional tension, because Kylo Ren does call Finn a traitor! But one of the worst parts to me is how the fight ends. Kylo Ren beats Finn, thank goodness, but when he slices him up his back, all it does is leave a little scratch. Normally, a lightsaber would have split him clean in half, but this is a common trend where Disney loves to nerf the strength of a lightsaber into the ground for plot convenience. And I know that some of you are going to say stuff like, oh, but when Dooku hit Obi-Wan in Attack of the Clones, he only nicked him, and that's true. But you can clearly see that Dooku was only trying to put Obi-Wan out of commission, not kill him. And when Anakin came back for seconds, Dooku lost patience and gave him a surprise amputation. So this whole thing where Finn's only lasting injury was a ripped jacket really annoys me. At number 3, we have Kylo Ren vs Luke Skywalker on Krayt in The Last Jedi, and let's be honest, this isn't really even a lightsaber duel since Luke isn't even there. However, despite that small obstacle, it still somehow made its way to the third worst face-off in all of Star Wars. Now look, I'll give Ryan Johnson this, the visuals are pretty cool, but to me, the biggest problem with this fight is that it's a completely missed opportunity. What would have been really awesome to see would have been Luke Skywalker going himself and facing off with Kylo Ren in person as an actual showdown between Master and former Apprentice, but instead, what we got was another classic classic Last Jedi subverted expectation. Oh, you thought that Luke had gone himself to face his greatest failure? Nah, he's sitting back at home on a rock, thinking really hard about the scenario. Give me a break. This was supposed to be Luke's redemption, and instead, it was just another gimmicky, unexpected surprise. Wonderful. Also, this quote-unquote fight, if you can call it that, has literally nothing in the way of choreography, consisting of mostly wild swings and enormous swipes. But there is one thing that Luke does that looks pretty cool, where he pulls off a Matrix-y kind of spin move, and that's about it. Thank you so much, Ryan. You certainly blessed us all. Entering into the top two now, we of Anakin drop. That's right, it's Qui-Gon versus Darth Maul. The first one, because I'd be an absolute psychopath to list this beauty as the second worst duel in Star Wars. Who boy, the comments would tear me apart like hyenas. The only thing that this duel gets right is the choreography, which is pretty average for the prequels, but every other aspect is just totally lacking. Sand is kicking up everywhere, which makes it hard to see what's going on. Some of the camera angles just don't let you get a glimpse of what's happening in any way whatsoever, and it's so bright that you can barely tell what color the lightsabers are. Now, to be fair, this duel isn't supposed to be some epic showdown, because its entire purpose is showing the audience who Darth Maul is and letting the Jedi know that the Sith are back, but I mean, it's still pretty disappointing. Coming in at number one as the absolute worst duel in all of Star Wars, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't by the way, we have Rey vs Kylo Ren, their final duel. This fight is the pinnacle of everything wrong with the sequel trilogy's combat, from the abhorrent choreography to the boring scenery to the barbaric technique. For about half of this scene, it looks like these characters are literally cavemen trying to bash each other's heads in with clubs, because they are literally just swinging wildly at each other, trying to hit anything that they can. And whatever moron decided that this move right here would be cool really needs to be fired, because stopping a lightsaber with the force is the laziest and most boring way possible to block a lightsaber. I mean, with a budget of half a billion dollars, with a B, it would have been really good to see some prequel level choreography. Finally, the scenery is probably the best part of this duel, which isn't saying much, but at least they tried to make it a little interesting, with big waves crashing up against the platform every now and then. But overall, that doesn't make the fight that much better, and it certainly can't save it from being the worst lightsaber duel in all of Star Wars. It also doesn't help that Kylo Ren was not exactly the best villain, and speaking of villains, you have to check out this video right here, where I ranked every villain in Star Wars from absolute worst to absolute best. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.